our cities are changing. And so the way we navigate them is changing too. In many major cities around the world, technology being used for integrated fares and ticketing across modes of transport are now commonplace. But making such multimodal systems truly frictionless by removing the need to buy tickets is taking things to the next level. And in the northern Italian city of Genoa, they're doing just that. In some instances, quite literally. In partnership with Hitachi Rail, the city is piloting a new system to allow seamless, hands-free payment and ticketing, all from a smartphone. The system works across the city's varied transport networks, including buses, subways, public lifts, water buses and funiculars. It's a really unique city when it comes to the geography. We have the sea, then we have mountains, we have up and down hills, we have elevators, whatever. So we have inside of the offer of the main operator at least seven or eight means of transportation. That's really something unique. Normally you have either bus, tram or underground, that's it. You have literally everything from boats to elevators. So we told that if we manage to connect this city, which is really, really, really complex geography and landscape, I mean, we can scale up as much as we want. It uses Bluetooth beacons placed throughout the city, which automatically detect the journey a passenger makes and what modes of transport they use. It's pretty easy. I mean, we covered the um, all stops uh, of buses, underground, elevators, funiculars, truck rails of the city. We equipped them with sent Bluetooth sensors, and each and every mobile telephone nowadays is suited with a Bluetooth antenna. And this communicates throughout the app to the sensor and localize the position of the travelers and associate this with a particular stop or a means of transportation. I mean, what you have to do is literally know where you want to go and then board and deboard the means of transportation you want, change intermodally between, uh, I don't know, uh, underground and buses and funiculars. And then the system will calculate the travel chain and at the end of the day, will calculate the best possible fare for, uh, for the segment you traveled on. In addition to public transport, the app is also integrated with Genoa's car sharing service. E-scooters and parking can also be booked and paid for through the app. As well as benefits for passengers, systems such as this also have benefits for the transport providers. The data collected can be used to calculate congestion and even emissions, allowing companies to dynamically adapt their services. Passengers also have access to arrival times and even how crowded a bus or subway train might be. The man responsible for public transport in Genoa thinks this is just the beginning. Our vision is strategic. We always want to be on the leading edge of technology, trying to understand what will be happening not next year, but the next three years, because you need time to get ready to new technologies. I think that the future of the public will ask for a lot of transformation. Technology will be much more important. On-demand service will be increasing importance. So I think the future of the public transport, also new technologies like electric, like driverless cars. So I think the future of the transport will be a future of a big technology change. The 360 Pass app and smart mobility system deployed in Genoa is currently in trial, but discussions are taking place with other cities around the world to expand its use further. Perhaps one day, hop on, hop off, really will be the transport of the future.